How is Ohio State doing this? Coach Ryan Day and the Ohio State Buckeyes coaching staff heard all of the cries and now know they are all in the hot seat. Coach Day knows that if his Buckeyes are not consistently in the college football playoffs, his job could be on the line. And as of right now, it looks like Coach Day is not backing down from a challenge. He responded to the criticisms by landing the third best overall recruiting class in both transfer portal and in high school, landing four five-star recruits in the high school ranks in wide receivers Mylon Graham, Aaron Scott at corner, edge rusher Edric Houston, and the number one player in the class of 2024, five-star wide receiver Jeremiah Smith. The Buckeyes also landed the eighth best transfer portal class, landing big time transfer prospects like four star running back from Ole Miss Quinshawn Judkins and dominant five star transfer targets quarterback Julian Sand from Alabama and Caleb Downs at safety from Alabama. But coming close, I want you to really listen to what I'm about to say. 2025 is going to be better than all of that. The Ohio State Buckeyes currently have the fourth best recruiting class in the class of 2025, but the secondary that they are building I've never seen before in my life. The Buckeyes have already landed the first, second, and 10th best corners in the class of 2025. But on top of that, they are heavily projected to land the fourth best corner and the number one safety in the class as well. That means that the Buckeyes in 2025 could be landing the number one, number two, number four, and number 10 corners in the class and the number one safety. Yeah, no, Ohio State's losing their minds. All my Buckeye fans, leave this video a like because I'm about to show y'all the absolute lockdown secondary that you guys are recruiting in the class of 2025. Kick back, relax, comment your thoughts down below on all these players. And with that being said, Said, let's take a look at the monster secondary that Ohio State is building in the class of 2025. Three, two, one. Psh. Starting it off, we're going to be taking a look at the 10th best corner in the class of 2025. This is St. Francis Academy's own Blake Woodby. He is 5'10 and a half, 175 pounds. And again, like I said, he's ranked as the 10th best corner in the class of 2025 and the second best player coming out of the state of Maryland. Now, he is by far the smallest DB that you guys are bringing in in this class because you will see that size is the name of the game for the Buckeyes. But my guy Blake, he's oh, he's absolutely shifty out here. This kid, he is a phenomenal athlete. These are actually his sophomore year highlights, so he's he's going into his senior year. But you can already see how athletic that this kid is. Look, out and up, easy. Swoop, come back, yep, swoop, come back. Oh, never mind, this got a horse collar. So you guys landed the second best player in the state of Maryland in my guy Blake Woodby. And then you went ahead and are heavily linked with the number one player in the state of Maryland coming out of Our Lady of Good Counsel's own. This is Fahim Delane. He is, remember when I said that size was a big thing? Six, two and a half and 195 pounds as a junior. He is the number one safety in the country and he is a five-star recruit. Now he is heavily linked to Ohio State. He has been ranked from all the top analysts as being a 100% to go and become an Ohio State Buckeye. This kid is huge at safety. He's literally like the size of a, most high school linebackers playing at safety. Yeah, I think that Fahim Delane, this guy, I love how rangy he is and he's very physical too. He's a guy that you could bring down into the box and he's gonna be able to more than handle himself. Get off of me, God, I thought he was about to break that for a second. I, I think this kid, he, he possesses a great understanding of knowing when to be physical, knowing when to be a little bit reckless, and then knowing when to, when to tone it back a little bit. He takes phenomenal pursuit angles to the ball, and I can see him being a great run supporting safety. I definitely see him being better in the run support game than in the pass, and then in the pass protection game. But as you can see, you can throw him on an island, he can still cover his own as well. Now this is the second player that is heavily linked with the Ohio State Buckeyes. This is five star corner in the fourth best corner. Oh my gosh, get folded. In the fourth best corner in the class of 2025, Dorian Brew out of Conroe High School. He is, again, 
size and physicality. 6'2 and 185 pounds. Like, literally, besides Blake Woodby, every single other DB that's going to be on this list is at least 6'1 or taller. It is absolutely insane the amount of size and length that the Ohio State Buckeyes are going to be having in their DB room. And I love the physicality, too, especially with all these Pac-12 schools coming over to the Big Ten. Ohio State's trying to let everybody know that, hey, we're not just going to let you slide. Look at this. Look at this. this is a phenomenal release. Stay square. Running with the guy. Just bump and run. Absolutely locked up that wide receiver. I think that Dorian Brew, he gives you that great physicality that you're looking for in wide receiver. I mean, look at him. Just, just where are you going? That's covered it. That's blanketed. Nope. Uh, again, being very patient, letting letting the wide receiver do all the little moves off the line, get their little releases off, and then he goes, and whenever he realizes the real thing that's going to happen, boom, breaks off of it. And now taking a look at the two prized possessions that the Buckeyes have in the class of 2025. This is... Depending on who you ask, the number one or number two corner in the class of 2025, five-star recruit Naheem O'Ford. He is six foot one in 185 pounds, and he's ranked as the number one player in the state of Alabama. This kid, again, you're getting all the size, physicality, and great athleticism from this kid. Like this dude can flat out cover. These next two guys are what I love to just call lockdown corners. You could throw him out on an island, and he's gonna be able to more than hold his own. Thank you. We're going the other way with that. It is insane to me the depth of DB play that the Ohio State Buckeyes are able to land in the class of 2025. Like, I thought that their 2024 class was great. The 2025 class might be one of the greatest that we've seen in a long time. Again, it's just, it, they're just such tall DBs. You, like... There's going to be very few wide receivers that are going to have a size advantage over these Ohio State corners. Got him down below and press. Where are you going? Let's get bodied. And this is the second piece of that crown jewel of the 2025 recruiting class. This is five-star corner. And again, the number one or number two corner in the class, depending on who you're asking, Devin Sanchez. This a hey, number one player in the state of Texas, and he is by far six, six foot two, 170 pounds. He is the guy that could have the biggest upside, in my opinion. For me, I think Devin Sanchez has the highest ceiling, whereas Nahimo Ford has the highest floor. I definitely think that Nahimo Ford, just his play style overall, is gonna just play very well at the next level, but. Devin Sanchez has got that dog in him. Six foot one, six foot two, 170 pounds. Again, just freakishly tall corners. Like you're just not getting past these Ohio State corners. And the thing that you love to see, I know that we've covered two guys that are rumored to go to Ohio State. Your top two players in your 2025 class, these two guys, they're already committed. So you don't have to worry about, oh, are we going to get them? You already got the top two guys. The number four corner and the number one safety are the guys that are up in the air. And I think with what the Ohio State Buckeyes are building, and you know, obviously talented players want to play with other talented players, I can see those two guys being a lock to become Buckeyes. And Ohio State's going to land and have the most dominant secondary in all of college football. Yeah, as you can see, Devin Sanchez, this kid just flat out knows how to cover. Like, he's got the great, he's a great rangy corner. Again, you can throw him on an island, running with this guy. Where are you going? Just running, playing through the wide receiver. That's phenomenal right there. You don't get a lot of corners that get nervous when their back is to the ball and they know, like, oh, I'm in a jump ball situation. Nope, just play through the hands. That's all you got to do. Just be patient and play through the hands. Way to undercut that. Look at the catch up speed. Playing off, playing off. Psh, undercut that. Let's go. So, yeah, when it's all said and done, Ohio State's going to have four of the top 10 corners in the class of 2025 and the number one safety in the country on top of already landing Caleb Downs, who was the number one freshman in all of college football last season. Like, come on. Ohio State is building an absolute powerhouse 
they're putting all their chips in the in the ta- on the table. They're saying, "Hey, we need to be in the back-to-back college football playoffs in this upcoming season and the season following that." They've done a phenomenal job of recruiting in the class of 2024. They're doing a great job of already getting a jump on the 2025 recruiting class. Ohio State is building something special. All my Buckeye fans should be extremely excited for what Ryan Day is doing. I know that there's been some up and downs. I know these past three seasons, not being able to beat Michigan, it's been tough. Not being in the college football playoffs, it's tough. Ohio State should be a team that's perennially in the college football playoffs. I think that Ryan Day woke up. Whatever he had to do to start making these big time moves happen, he's done them. Ohio State's back, and they're going to be doing more than fine. Michigan's going to have their fall off. I think Ohio State's going to take their rightful place back at the top of the Big Ten. Hey, all I know is that it's happy days ahead for all my Buckeye fans. All my Ohio State fans, leave this video a like and comment your thoughts down below on this just unbelievable. This is almost unreal, the amount of DB talent that you guys are bringing in in the class of 2025 and the pieces that you're rumored to be bringing in. Comment your thoughts down below on what you just think of all this and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. We're dropping videos each and every single day. A lot of it's centered around Ohio State because y'all have been making some moves. We're going to keep you up to date with everything going on with Ohio State football. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. And if nobody has told you this today, I love you and you specifically. I'm talking to you right now. I know that there's just a lot of times where you can go through your day and you can kind of get just caught up in, oh, I got to go to work or I got to go to school or just, I know there's just a lot of things. And sometimes you don't get a, a second to really like check in on yourself, but really ask yourself like how you're doing. Like, don't just immediately respond. Like, oh, I'm good. Or, oh, I'm like, what? just really take a second kind of like be with your thoughts for a second. I, know, I, I trust I've been there before. I know that can be scary to just kind of be alone with your thoughts for a little bit, but really just take some time and just ask yourself, how am I doing? And if you're not really doing, if you're, you know, if it kind of all hits you like, hey, I haven't really been taking care of myself or hey, you know, like I'm not in a good mental space, know that you can always call upon Jesus Christ. We are not meant to go through this world and just tackle it all head, head on. We are just simply not built for that. And that is a beautiful thing why Jesus Christ came down and died for all of us so he could just take all of that off of us and just give us a place to be able to go it says cast all my cares upon me because i care for you greatly don't know the don't know the book in the verse but i know that's what it says you can go look it up yourself but that's the type of love that jesus christ has for us he wants he literally asks us to take to cast our cares and put them on him because of how much he loves us never forget that love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video Ciao.